Hi team, this is my series of introduction to Linux videos. This is the first video of maintaining process and system services topic. A program is executable file that is stored on a disk. It becomes a process when it's loaded into memory. This means that the process is an instance of the program that has been executed in the CPU from memory. When the process is created by running a program, it gets system resources allocated to it, including memory, CPU, a process ID number, or PID. Every process has a unique process number ID. Each process also has a parent process that started it. All the processes started with the system D. System D is the process that the kernel starts, and in turn it starts other processes. Systemd is the only process that the kernel starts directly. It's the grandfather of the processes. A process can spawn other processes called child processes. Each child process also has a process ID number. The process ID number is used by kernel to manage and con control the process during its lifetime. System administrators can use a process ID for setting and changing task priority and engine ending task. Processes are organized in hierarchical manner, just like files and folders. So the child processes are nested under the parent processes. Then the process ends, it's reported back to the parent process. Then its resources are freed and the PID is removed. A Linux system may have hundreds of the processes running at a given time. So the first tool I would like to look at is the tool to monitor processes. If we go to a terminal and type ps and hit enter, by default, ps only shows the processes run by the user executing it. It shows the process ID, the terminal it's run on, and the execution time and the command that was run. To get ps to display every process, we will add the dash e option at the ps command. This still shows the same columns as before, but for all processes, even those that run by other users. To see which process start our processes, we can pass the hierarchy option by adding capital H to the command. We can clearly see now how the output shows the hierarchy. To see more information about all processes, let's add the dash F and hit enter. This adds the username who ran the command, the parent process ID, CPU utilization, the start time and the command with the arguments and options. We can also add uh, the dash L for long format. This gives us a full 17 columns of information. This is a big output, which we don't need on a regular basis. You can customize what's shown on a screen. For instance, let's type PS dash E space dash dash format ui uid pid ppid as uh, percentage cpu cmd and hit enter this shows the user, the process ID, the parent process ID, the CPU utilization, and the command name that was run for all the processes. We can also sort on any of these fields, for example, by bringing the command back and adding dash dash sort space percentage CPU and hit enter.
This will show all the process sorted by CPU utilization from the least to the greatest. If you want to sort by greatest to, to least, you can bring your line back and place the hyphen before the percent CPU. You can also show processes just for one user or group as well. Let's show all processes run by the root user. Type ps-u root and hit enter. Using the uppercase u, we can specify the username. If you want to use the user's numeric ID, use the lowercase u. You can specify the program name as well. For instance, if you had multiple copies of the program running, you could show just those processes by specifying the dash capital C option. To conclude the first video in the series, I would like to show some useful array of the options for ps command. For example, type ps dash e dash dash format dash uid PID TTY percent CPU CMD space dash dash sort space percentage CPU and hit enter. This will output every process, the user ID, the process ID, the terminal they will run on, the CPU utilization, and the command name sorted with the highest CPU utilization at the bottom, which is the easiest uh, place to read it. And now we run uh, is ps dash e dash dash format uid PID TTY RSS CMT dash dash sort RSS. This command will show the same but sort by memory usage. This is good for finding those process using the most memory. And again, it will sort in a way that the most greedy processes are shown at the bottom. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.